first off, I'd like to acknowledge that we are gathering on the ancestral land of the Lekwungen people. Here, in this area, villages harvested blue camas for food and trade, and where their cultural and spiritual, and it was here that their cultural and spiritual traditions thrived for thousands of years before our arrival. Before I introduce the speaker, uh, I'd like to open with a quick prayer. Good. Father, we thank you for this time. You have. It's a prayer, it has to be quiet. <laughs> Father, we thank you for this time you have given us to come together to learn about ways in which we can preserve and honor your creation. Please guide us in all our efforts to ensure that your world, this one world that we have, is available equitably for all of us and for all future generations. Amen. Amen. And yet again, before I introduce our speaker, I'd like to explain quickly about how the morning will go. Uh, we're going to have Alana give her presentation and to facilitate the filming of it, because it is being filmed and will be available afterwards on the diocesan website and the parish website. It's a little difficult for people following the video if we interrupt with questions. So what we're going to do is allow Alana to go through her presentation. We are going to then have maybe a 10 to 15 minute break in which you can load up on calories and caffeine. <laughs> we'll come back and have questions at that point. Now, if you're my vintage, or God forbid, a little older, you may worry that you'll forget your question when it comes. <laughs> if you worry about that, raise your hand when a question occurs to you without saying something, and the very competent Vicky at the back will have paper and pen on which you can write down your question for reference later. So this morning, we're honored to have Alana Dopfer as our speaker. Alana is an energy solutions specialist administering various energy efficiency programs with her team at City Green Solutions. City Green Solutions is an enterprising nonprofit organization here in Victoria. Among other programs, she administers the Clean BC Better Homes Energy Coach Service. That is an unbiased, government-funded program that provides energy efficiency upgrades and rebates information, along with phone and email support for BC residents. From her work as an energy coach, Alana understands homeowners' barriers to, compete, to complete energy efficient upgrades in their homes and is going to give us advice and some solutions on how to overcome those barriers. So please join me in welcoming Alana. So um, Gary was so kind to introduce me, <laughs> but I'm going to do that <laughs> again. I work for an energy efficiency organization in Victoria. Um, it's called City Green Solutions. And at City Green, we do a lot of different energy efficiency projects. One of them is the one that I want to talk about today, which is the Clean BC Better Homes program. Um, at City Green, I am leading our team of energy coaches. So that is a team that helps homeowners, like you might be a homeowner, um, finding energy efficiency solutions for their homes and especially explaining the whole big rebate program. Okay, so what I'm going to talk today um, is climate change and how your home might contribute to it how to make your home uh, more energy efficient. I'm just going to introduce a few upgrades that you can um, start with. Energy upgrade rebates, because we all want to get some money back if we make big investments in the future. And last but not least, I do want to talk about um, one of the programs that we administer. It's the Clean BC Better Homes program. All right, I don't want to get into too much detail with this one because if you were here last Wednesday, my uh, former colleague, Glennis Berholtz, talked about the Saanich uh, Climate Leadership Plan. So um, you probably know all about that already, but since we are in Saanich, I just wanted to remind you that Saanich has really great climate goals, 
which is to become a 100% renewable community um, by 2050, and also to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions by 2050 um, by 80%. So what I really, uh, the message that I want to get out today is um, energy efficiency is not just about saving money. Although it is an important point, energy efficiency is also about making your home more comfortable, more healthy, more resilient for um, climate change impacts, and just part of the solution and not part of the problem. So here you can see um, three nice little homes. Um, this is a graph that shows a home that is heated with oil, with natural gas, and with a heat pump. And um, as you can see, an oil-heated home has a lot of greenhouse gas emissions. Um, but for homes that switch from an oil furnace to a heat pump, they can reduce their um, greenhouse gas emissions drastically. Um, that From that graph that you just saw, sorry, <laughs> that is 1.4 cars that you can take off the road every day just by switching from an oil furnace to a heat pump. Um, so that's these cars, <laughs> for example. Um, and it's a heat pump is much more, uh, much cheaper than a Tesla, just, just saying. Um, and then, so, but all or a lot of the common household problems are energy efficiency issues. And I just want to see if, uh, if I can see if some of you have experienced some of those issues. In the summer, <laughs> a lot of homes are way too hot and you can't sleep. Or our house is too cold, too drafty and uncomfortable in the, uh, in the winter. That's um, the opposite. A lot of homes that have older windows, single pane windows, uh, experience that there is a lot of outside noise coming in, which also causes um, sleep deprivation. <laughs> and a lot of homes, one of them I lived in here in Saanich, um, has basements that you really want to avoid because it's kind of musty and stinky a little bit. Moisture issues are very common. And also, I have lived in a home in Sandwich where I had to wipe off condensation from the windows every single morning, and that drove me crazy. And of course, the classic, our energy bills are too high, as my team of energy coaches hears that problem on a daily basis. Um, and energy efficiency is um, a solution to that as well. And overall, we just want to have a better home that is part of the solution and not part of the problem and causes you a lot of worries, <laughs> to say the least. So that raises a lot of questions, though, if you have one of those issues. One of those questions is, how bad is my home really compared to other homes? And who is there to help me? Should I get an energy evaluation or should I talk to a contractor? What contractors are good? Will renovations even help my problems or am I going to invest a lot of money and I get nothing from it? <laughs> um, where do I start? That is a very, um, very common problem for homeowners because there is so much information out there. And what should I improve? Should I start with my roof, my attic, my heating system, or is it the windows? Um, and of course, if you make improvements, is there any financial assistance? Because installing insulation or getting new windows is very costly. Okay, so this graph, uh, or this picture here, is um, quite a lot. <laughs> um, what I really want you to understand today is that your whole home works as a big system. Every single um, element of your home affects other elements. So this picture is very confusing, which a home is. <laughs> um, the thing is, if you do energy efficiency upgrades to your home, um, every single upgrade will affect other aspects of your home. So before you replace your heating system with, let's say, a heat pump, um, you should really address the air tightness of your home first. You should make sure that your home is very well insulated, that it um, has airtight windows, because if you have a very well insulated and airtight home, your heating system doesn't have to work as hard and it doesn't have to be um, sized just as big. 
Also, if you replace your windows, for example, what you really need to address once you have that really nice airtight building envelope, you have to address um, ventilation just to make sure that there is a lot of air change in your home and your um, air doesn't turn stale. And a good way to start with energy efficiency upgrades is to consider getting professional advice and especially unbiased advice. So consider having an EnerGuide home evaluation. What that is, is it's an unbiased um, and very comprehensive service that was designed by the federal government, by Natural Resources Canada. And what happens is an energy advisor who is completely unbiased and certified, um, registered with the government, comes to the home and does a whole home energy evaluation. So. They go around the house and assess everything, your insulation levels, windows, heating system, water heating system. Um, they also do a blower door test. That's a depressurization test where they can find out uh, whether your home is too leaky or underventilated and where exactly the drafty spots are in your home. Um, then the energy advisor would talk to you about um, concerns about the home, if you have any renovation plans in mind. Um, they talk to you about rebate programs and then they go home, model your whole home with a software. So they create an energy model of your home and give you um, two reports. One of them is this report right here. It's called the renovation upgrade report and it's basically a very detailed report and a list of upgrades that are recommended for your home in specific. Um, and the other report is a homeowner information sheet where you can learn how your home uses energy. So that is a very great way to start because it is a more comprehensive approach that takes everything into consideration. And it's more than just talking to one contractor that sells one specific product. All right, uh, we're diving into energy efficiency upgrades that you could consider for your home. And energy efficiency really is about uh, year-round comfort. You want to um, end up as happy a as this fellow here. Not sure if that's uh, in winter and he's drinking a nice hot chocolate or has a little Mai Tai in his cup in the summer, but he for sure is pretty comfortable. <laughs> Um, let's start with insulation. So it's really important that your home is very well insulated because that means that your heating system doesn't have to work as hard. It keeps the home nice and warm in the winter and it keeps the heat out in the summer. So it is a more climate friendly solution because um, your heating system, again, doesn't have to work as hard, which also means it will save you some money and reduces um, maintenance costs. Energy efficient windows, again, if you have great windows, it keeps the heat in and it keeps um, the heat out in the summer as well. It um, makes your home nice and quiet and it protects your interior because new energy efficient windows also protect your furniture from um, UV light and it increases um, your home value, increases the aesthetic of your home and saves you some money because again, Heating system doesn't have to work as hard. Also, it can solve the um, whole condensation issue if you have other good ventilation in your home. Okay, I'm not sure if any one of you has heard of heat pump water heaters before, but heat pump water heaters, they I would say they're fairly new to the market in BC. At City Green, we um, did a little research and we found that not a lot of contractors um, sell them yet. But basically, a heat pump water heater is the most efficient way to heat your domestic hot water. And um, it is, like any other water heating system, it is just as reliable. It's a storage tank. And rather than um, burning a fuel to heat up water, it just mo takes or extracts heat from the air and um, pumps it up to a higher level and um, gives that heat to water. And uh, my favorite upgrade, <laughs> heat pumps. I want to talk about that a little bit longer. So heat pumps, um, has anybody heard of heat pumps before? OK, great, awesome. Going to get into it a little bit. Um, in BC, at least, there's two very common types of heat pumps. That is the central system heat pump. 
that works exactly like a furnace with ductwork throughout the whole house and forced air. Um, so it's really great for uh, switching from a natural gas furnace or an electric furnace, any kind of furnace. Um, but in Saanich and in BC, there's also a lot of homes that have just electric baseboards and they can't really install um, yeah, ducts throughout the whole house. So for that, oh, okay, that is too far. Um, for that, there is other types of heat pumps and that's the mini split ductless heat pumps. So as you can see, they have a smaller uh, little outdoor unit and that is connected to those indoor heads that kind of look like bigger electric baseboards and they're usually mounted to the top part of the wall and they provide more zonal heating. So they're really great for smaller open concept homes. And the great thing about heat pumps is it's by far the most efficient heating system that is out there. So electri other electric heating systems like a furnace or electric baseboards are considered to be 100% efficient, but heat pumps are actually three to four times more efficient than electric baseboards or a furnace and natural gas heating systems. Um, heat pumps also in BC at least where electricity is considered to be almost carbon neutral, it is the most climate friendly option to heat a home. And the great thing about heat pumps is also in the summer you can just reverse the cycle and you can use it as your air conditioning system. Um, why are heat pumps so um, efficient? The reason is because rather than, again, burning a fuel or taking electricity to turn it into heat, it extracts heat from the air outside and um, gives, um, yeah, gives that to a refrigerant that will go through a compressor and gets pumped up to a higher level, hence heat pump, and then um, it releases that into your home. So it's a really great system um, and I'm definitely going to talk about some rebates for that later on as well. <laughs> I just want to show you um, a few little, a uh, few numbers. <laughs> this is from a program that City Green used to run um, a few years ago. It was called the Oil to Heat Pump Program. Some of you may have heard, heard of it before. It was for switching your, an oil heating system um, to a heat pump and you could get an incentive for that. So based on all the homes that have replaced their oil heating system to a heat pump, we did some reporting and some number crunching, and we found that um, those homes could improve their greenhouse gas emissions by 96.5%. And by improve, I mean decrease them, of course. <laughs> Um, and also those homes, on average, they reduce their overall energy consumption in the home by 51%. So they cut their energy consumption in half, which is absolutely great. And to show you that in the graph, so for the oil jeet pump program, you had to have energy evaluations. So this was the home beforehand and their greenhouse gas emissions per year and that were based on the oil furnace, basically. That being said, I gave you some ideas of energy efficiency upgrades and uh, maybe the consideration of having an energy evaluation beforehand. But what we really also are interested in is the dollars that we can get back because all those um, upgrades are not necessarily cheap. So I wanna introduce you um, the main rebate program in BC for energy efficiency upgrades. It's quite a mouthful. It's the Clean BC, Better Homes and Home Renovation Rebate Program. Okay, let's dive right in. So this program, I know it's pretty small, so I'm just gonna read it out for you guys. Um, this program is funded by the federal and provincial government, BC Hydro and Fortis BC, and um, both the utilities administer the program. So they deal with all the applications. And the program is designed for a single family homes, side by side, row, town homes or duplexes. Um, but multi-unit residential homes and all those homes that have stacked units on top of each other are not eligible for the program. Um, in order to participate in this program, you, your primary heating system must be electricity, natural gas, oil or propane. 
Homes that are entirely heated by wood, that means they don't even have electric baseboards, they are not allowed in the program. And um, that's also an important one, what people always forget, um, is all upgrades must be installed by a licensed contractor in order to qualify for rebates. All right, so this is a lot. Um, in your little brochure, um, I, I can see that a lot of you have this brochure. It's really great because it has a table. I'm just gonna show you this real quick. In the back, it has a table of all the rebates that are out there in BC at the moment. So um, I basically am gonna go over them really quickly. So for insulation, there's a few different rebates out there. For example, for attic insulation, you can get a rebate of up to $900. And for um, basement or exterior wall insulation, there's up to $1,200. Up to means they always take a certain cent amount multiplied by the um, R value of the insulation you add, multiplied by the square footage of the area that you insulate. So that's just to give you an idea of what's out there. Um, windows, very um, a, a very popular one. There's currently two different window rebates out there, and those are either fifty or a hundred dollars per window or door. Doors qualify too, and that is based on the efficiency of the windows. Keep in mind, a lot of people think because just because they do replace windows with new ones, that would qualify right away, but that is not true. So. I mean, you can, you can call our energy coaches when you get to window replacements and ask again, but what's really important is the U factor of the windows. And these requirements are quite strict. So if you wanna go for those rebates, make sure that your um, windows qualify. Okay, um, natural gas heating systems. Does any one of you have a natural gas heating system at home at all? Okay, perfect. So all these Fortis BC rebates here, they are for replacing an existing natural gas um, heating system with a new one. So you can get $700 or $500 for a new natural gas furnace. That depends on the efficiency. If you have a boiler, which is fairly uncommon in Saanich, I think, um, you can get $1,000 and some people even um, install those boilers that can heat both the water for space and for water heating. That's $1,200. And then for fireplaces, anybody can install a natural gas fireplace and get $300. Since natural gas is not the most climate friendly option for heating your home, I thought I'm gonna throw in some information about, um, about renewable natural gas because if you really want to go with natural gas, Fortis BC offers the option of having renewable natural gas um, as part of your um, yeah, gas uh, consumption. And renewable natural gas is basically methane captured from renewable sources, as you can see on these little pictures. It is a more climate friendly option and you can choose a 5, 10, 25, 50 or even a 100% blend uh, with Fortis BC. And um, Capital Regional District is actually currently considering um, getting its own renewable natural gas facility, which is really great. And then heat pumps. So um, the Tesla of the energy efficiency upgrades, as I like to call it. Um, for heat pumps, there's quite a few rebates at the moment. So um, they're highly incentivized. And you have, to, um, you have to distinguish between if you're upgrading from a fossil fuel heating system like natural gas, oil, or propane. Currently, you can get $3,000 for that. Um, and since you all live in Saanich, I assume. No? Where, where do you live? In Oak Bay. Okay. For people who live in Saanich, they can get a $700 municipal top-up, so it's $3,700. People who live in the Capital Regional District but not in Saanich, they can still get $350 from the Capital Regional District. So it's quite a bit of money for uh, a heat pump. And then, oh, sorry. And then for folks who have electric baseboards or a furnace and would like to upgrade to a heat pump, 
they can get either $1,000 for a mini split, that's those ductless heat pumps, or for a central system with ductwork throughout the whole house, and that is $2,000. Um, the heat pump has to meet a lot of different energy efficiency requirements, so I encourage you to um, either visit our website that I'm going to introduce in a second or call one of our energy coaches because it's a lot of acronyms and you really just want to show that to your contractor to make sure you get a heat pump that qualifies. And then this rebate program also has a few bonuses if you do multiple things. So the first bonus is called two upgrade bonus and it's literally for installing two upgrades um, that qualify. So for example, a heat pump and attic insulation. That bonus is just $300 flat that comes on top of your other rebates. And then there's a little bit more complex bonus called the home energy improvement bonus. That's the only rebate that requires an energy evaluation beforehand. And then you have to do three or more upgrades, like a heat pump, attic insulation, and a water heater, and a post retrofit evaluation afterwards. And for both evaluations, you get um, a rating for your energy consumption. And once you've completed all that, you get $20 for every percent improvement between your two evaluations. So the more you can reduce your energy consumption, the more money you get, basically. For doing those two energy evaluations, the rebate program also gives you some money back. So um, they give you $300 back if you do both the pre and the post retrofit evaluation. Now, an important point that I forgot earlier when I talked about evaluations, which I'm sure that question will come up, the cost of an energy evaluation in BC, to give you ballpark cost, is usually, I would say, around $400 to $500. That depends on the um, location, layout, and size of your home. And then for the, the second evaluation, the post-retrofit, they usually range around $200 but every different service organization can um, choose their own prices, right? So if you end up booking one, I would, I would just inquire with a few different ones about their rates. All right, and then this is a, a different kind of program, but I thought I'm gonna talk about it a little bit too. There's income qualified offers as well. Um, there is a program that's called Energy Assistance Conservation Program short ECAP. <laughs> ECAP is basically for income qualified households and what it offers is a um, is a free in-home visit which is not an EnerGuide home evaluation it's less comprehensive and less official but um, a team of energy coaches basically comes to your home and installs free product um, products like weather stripping, light bulbs, um, things like that, shower heads, and some homes even qualify for a new fridge or insulation or a new gas furnace. We also have information about this program on our website. It's great for um, low-income homes. And the same program also offers free energy-saving kits if you're income qualified, which have a lot of things like um, shower heads, weather stripping, window film, LED lights, um, all those kinds of, uh, kinds of things. All right, so that's the income qualified programs. Okay, this is a lot of information. I get that. It can be very overwhelming, especially the heat, uh, not the heat pump, the rebate programs. They have so many requirements and so many acronyms, and it can be quite a bit. So back in the day, or just a few years ago, actually, um, people were left alone with all this information. Every single website had their own information and you really were out in the dark alone um, and had nobody to call if there was a problem. But this is where the Clean BC Better Homes program comes in. It's, um, it's funded by the government. Um, at City Green we administer that, so we have the coach of uh, the team of energy coaches. And what that program is for is it's basically the main information hub for energy efficiency upgrades and rebates in BC, government funded and completely unbiased. And um, 
yeah, we, we help people to understand the programs better. So it looks like this, and we have um, our biggest item uh, on the website is the rebate search tool, and of course our energy coaching. So my team of energy coaches and myself, we're here to answer people um, people's questions on the phone. You can reach us Monday to Friday from nine to five, and the phone number um, is toll free. It's one eight four four. 8819790. It's also on the flyer. <laughs> and we also answer questions by email at um, ask at betterhomesbc.ca. If you want to go and look uh, on your own at first to get an idea, we have the rebate search tool. And I really like this search tool because the way it works is you just have to select that you're renovating a home. And then you just type in your location, like Saanich or Oak Bay. And you just have to tell the tool um, how you currently heat your home because that may determine what rebate you're eligible for. So for example, electricity. And then you hit the submit button and this little um, window pops up. So this window has a list of all the energy efficiency upgrades that at uh, rebates that you may qualify for. And on the right hand side, um, you can check boxes if you just want to filter it a little bit. If you're just looking for installation rebates, you just check the installation box and it only shows you the installation <laughs> rebates. Great, on the website we also have other resources to, um, for you to help you learn about energy efficiency um, upgrades like heat pumps. If you want to learn a little more about heat pumps, you can just go on our FAQs. They're all in an FAQ style all um, really short and simple. So for example, under the heating and cooling system section, you can, there is a question, um, what heating system is best for me and my home? And it compares different heating systems, the efficiencies, the cost, um, operating costs, all that. So I encourage you to check that out. And we have other frequently asked questions. So for instance, about the rebate programs, or with the one that I really love is the hiring a contractor FAQs because while we at Clean BC we cannot recommend specific contractors or brands because we're completely unbiased, we do have a lot of tips what to ask contractors and what qualifications to look for just so you make sure that you can get a reliable contractor for your renovation. And we also have a lot of um, questions answered about EnerGuide home evaluations. Okay, I think that's pretty much the end. Here again, if you want to write that down, but it's also in the brochure, it's www.betterhomesbc.ca. The phone number is province-wide toll-free, and you can also reach us by email. Thanks so much. If you have any questions for me specifically, <laughs> my um, email address is elena.dopfer at citygreen.ca. Thank you so much for listening. I'm excited to answer all your questions. <laughs>